Today we create a cinematic title animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from theemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will learn how to create a really cool cinematic title animation in After Effects from scratch. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's get in and get started pretty quick. So here I have my background, which I'll provide the link in the description below so you can go and download this footage for free. So let's pretty quickly start by creating a new composition and let's rename this to main comp 1920 into 1080. 30 frames and 10 seconds and hit OK. Let's go ahead and create a new composition for the text. So let's rename this to text and 1920 to 1080 30 frames and 10 seconds and hit OK. So now you can right off the bat go ahead and type in anything that you want. I'm just going to go with a text like extreme. Let's align this in the center pretty quick. Then I'm going to go in the text property and in the animate I'm going to add a tracking. Then we can basically go ahead and animate the tracking of the text just like that. The horizontal spacing basically of the text. So let's place it somewhere around there. Let's go to two seconds. Create a keyframe on the tracking amount. Go back in time at the very beginning and bring this up just like that to somewhere around there. Then what I can do is make the text 3D, add a new camera. 35 millimeters should work good and hit OK. Let's create a new null object for the camera control. So this is going to, so this is going to be the camera control. So let's re rename this to cam C for cam control. Let's create a new null object and this is going to be the secondary camera animation. So let's name this SEC for secondary camera animation. Make both the null layers 3D. And then what I'm going to do is parent the camera to the camera control and then parent the camera control layer a null layer to the secondary control just like that. And then what we can do is go in the camera control hit P for the position and animate the position of the text. So what I'm going to do is let's say I'll go to two seconds and create a keyframe on the position property. Go back in time and I'm going to stretch this up or zoom this up all the way till the text is out of the frame just like that. And then what we can do is select the text and the camera control hit U so we can see the keyframes. Select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes. Go to graph editor and drag these handles just like that to create a curve like this. And by the way if your graph editor doesn't look like this make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph. So now we have a really nice and subtle looking animation as you can see. So let's go ahead and add a secondary camera animation for our text. So what I'm going to do is select the secondary layer, the secondary camera animation layer, hit P to bring down the position properties, go to one second, create a keyframe on the position, go to around let's say I'll go to five seconds and just zoom this out just like that to maybe around let's go with minus 350. Select the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes and let's see what we have. So now we have a secondary camera animation which looks really really cool. So it's really simple and easy to create and 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 you can obviously turn on motion blur to add some really nice effect to this as you can see. So for now I just turn this off. We can hide the null, we don't need to see it. And then what I can do is to make this text look a bit more cool, I'm going to add a gradient ramp to it. So let's click this up and let's drag this point by holding shift just right over here. Drag this holding shift just right over here and swap the colors so we have a really nice cinematic looking text effect as you can see. But we also need to animate the start and the end property of the ramp. So let's go to two seconds, create a keyframe on the start of the ramp and the end of the ramp. Go to at the very beginning, 
and drag them out just right over here so let's see what we have yep this is looking actually pretty good maybe make this a bit gray something like that so let's see how it looks yep that is looking pretty nice i'm happy with that and let's add a bit sharpen to the text so let's add a sharpen to around five percent but it look good yep that is pretty good so let's go into the main composition and drag in the text comp into the main composition as well as the background just like that so now we have something like this as you can see so let's go ahead and add some effects to the text so what i'm going to do is right click and add a new adjustment layer let's rename this to effects and add an effect called CC light burst which is a really cool effect as you can see right off the bat looks really really cool so let's go to 1 second and 15 frames I guess or maybe let's go to 1 second let's create a keyframe on the rail end and maybe I'll bring this down to 35 I guess and let's go at the very beginning and create a keyframe as well so let's click on this diamond icon just like that go back to this keyframes and set this to zero so now we have something like this as you can see looks really really cool and let's add a gaussian blur as well so let's add a gaussian blur repeat edge pixels let's go right away up create a keyframe on the blurriness go back in time and set this to around let's go with 12 Yep, that is looking pretty good. And one more effect that I'm gonna use is create a new adjustment layer. On a new adjustment layer, let's rename this to lens. And I'm gonna use an effect called CC lens. There we go. So around two seconds, I'm gonna set this to around 500. Create a keyframe, go back in time, and set this to around, let's go with 200. So let's see what we have. We have this, you can see, very subtle kind of a lens distortion which makes our text look really, really nice and you know, kind of a natural effect. So yup, that is looking really nice. Let's create a new adjustment layer and add some color correction. So let's rename it to CC underscore 01 and add a photo filter. Set this to let's say who filter 82 looks good and we can play around with the intensity as well so I'm gonna set this to really minimal maybe around 15 and also I'm gonna add a curves adjustment to it not adjustment the curves color correction to it something like that go to the blue channel and bring this up a bit just like that go to the red channel and bring this down just like that so we get a really nice and cinematic look as you can see. Let's add a little bit of saturation as well. Very minimal, maybe around, let's go with seven. And as you can see, we are getting there. Let's add a vignette. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Let's rename it to win. And add a curves and drag it just like that. And as you can see this effect, even this effect, looks really really cool so you can use it this way as well but i'm going to use this as a vignette so i'm going to bring this down really really dark just like that make sure you are on the ellipse tool and just double click on this so it's going to create an ellipse like that invert this up and add a feather of around 700 pixels just like that and bring down and bring this points a bit closer now it, it's just your personal preference you know you can you don't need to follow the exact same step but to make it look really cool you can add a really cool veneer just like that really subtle and as you can see looks really really cool let's create a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the glow so you can also add a little bit of subtle glow to it to make it look really really cool so let's add a glow we will increase the threshold to around 90 percent 
and increase the glow radius to around 50% and we can play around with the intensity if I want to so maybe I'll increase this a bit to around somewhere around there let's see you can see before and after it's really minimal change but it's gonna take us really really far as you can see looks really really cool maybe I set this to one one looks pretty good and we can play around obviously with the threshold so maybe I'll set this to around 80 create a keyframe go to around 1 second and 15 frames and set this to let's go with 100 so now we have a really nice glow as you can see looks really really cool maybe hit U and drag the keyframe a bit more select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes and let's see what we have so far also make sure to turn on the motion blur so let's pretty quickly ramp preview it yep looks pretty good I think threshold is a bit too high so I'll bring this down to around 90% let's see what we have okay I also need to bring down the intensity a bit as you can see so maybe somewhere around there looks pretty good let's create a keyframe so let's create a keyframe go to around somewhere there and let's make this to one so yep this is looking really really cool you can also go ahead and add some optical flares as well so let's create a new solid by hitting ctrl y let's rename this to op for optical flares and this is just optional so you can you know uh, you don't need to add the optical flares you can also use the built-in flares as well so make sure to keep the solid layer to make comp size and set this to screen and add optical flares let's go to options and let's select a built-in flare let's go to lights maybe no I don't think uh, maybe I'll go to motion graphics and I'll use this one looks pretty good I'll place it somewhere around there let me bring down the brightness a bit down just like that let's see yep that is actually looking pretty good maybe I'll change the position somewhere around then you can also basically animate the optical flares obviously and maybe I'll do a, one more color correction pretty quick add a curve to this and let's bring this down a bit just like that so as you can see this is looking pretty nice I think the curve is just too much yep this is looking pretty good let's animate the optical flares as well pretty quickly so let's keep it somewhere around there create a keyframe on the position X and Y go to 5 seconds and bring this down just like this so now we have something like that as you can see you can also add some flicker and stuff like that maybe I'll add a flicker 3 and 10 maybe 20 let's see what we have I think the speed is just too low We'll increase this yep that is looking pretty good so as you can see it is really simple and easy to create so let's wrap this tutorial up and I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative